Hi, Joe Glavin with City Floor Supply. Uh, back here again in our Festool demonstration area. And today we're gonna discuss the TS55 REQ. The TS55 REQ is their uh, corded unit. Uh, they do have a unit that is also this same size in the um, 55 millimeter, but is uh, battery operated. But the TS55 REQ um, is corded. It comes with the plug it cord that um, attaches and detaches so that you can store it in the case. The unit will also work with all of the Festool CTS vacuums and also will work in conjunction with the MFT3 tables. So we'll discuss a little bit of, of that today. Just wanted to bring to your attention a couple of nice features on the TS55. One, it is a track saw. Uh, it fits into the guide, the TS55 REQ comes with a 55 inch track that has non-slip inserts in it and also an anti-chip cutting edge that gives you just phenomenal precision. That same style track is also available on the MFT3 table. So the unit itself, um, you can adjust how tight it rides along the track with these knobs here. So everything that I'm pointing out to you that has that Festool green, that lime green, is a feature. So for instance, when we get into the fast fix and changing the blades, um, the trigger assembly and the safeties, adjustable and micro adjustable depth stops uh, that are right here, all of these features Festool has um, colored them so that you know where they are and they're easily accessible. So, um, speaking of the fast fix, the track saw blade is extremely easy to change. Incorporated into the handle is the Allen wrench. All you do is release the fast fix lever, push down, you hear that click. Now everything is locked. So the blade is in the perfect position in the window to expose the arbor. The click that you heard locks the motor so that when you go to insert the Allen wrench and turn out the arbor screw, that the blade will then come right out. Uh, and then you just change the blade. So really nice design, very simple, and again, safe. Obviously you wanna make sure it's unplugged. And while we're on this side of the saw, let's take note of how close the saw blade is to the side of the unit, meaning you're gonna get a nice flush cut to the wall compared to where that blade is, which is a really nice feature, uh, particularly if you're cutting out some flooring, uh, subflooring in order to be able to install right up to the wall and then cover it with say shoe or quarter round. Another beautiful feature, safety feature, again, Festool safe and systems, the safe part is the riving knife. Um, very rare to see a riving knife on a portable tool like this, and that riving knife is gonna keep the blade from being bound by wood coming together on the back end and giving you kickback. On the micro adjust, so you, right now this is a scale in metric. Um, it also is available in uh, Imperial, but you can also adjust this just by pushing in there and also with a little bit of a micro adjust here, and that's a new feature for them on the TS55. This unit will tilt and cut on an angle up to 45 degrees. So we're just gonna loosen up this in the back and the front, and then that will allow us to tilt to our stop at 45. Or again, you could do 22 and a half, uh, 30 degrees, and you could even go below zero to a negative one. Um, which is another new feature. So, cutting on a 45 and compounding cutting it uh, has never been easier. Uh, to make this kind of a cut freehand with a regular skill saw, extremely difficult. Um, you know, I struggle with it. So, this saw has definitely made it very easy to do. Okay, 
Again, incorporating into the system with Festool. We have a, a swivel cuff here for vacuum. Any of the Festool vacuums will work with this unit and we simply have dust collection on our track saw. This unit comes with the MMC technology and what is that? Well, that allows for the RPM of the saw to stay consistent regardless of how many amps you're drawing on the hard cut and that's really important because this saw is variable speed. Uh, we can dial in from a number one speed all the way up to a six. So you can adjust this unit to the type of wood you're cutting so that you're not getting burnout. Um, again, another great feature. If you notice this little window here on the side, uh, this comes out very easily. And what does that give us? We're about to put in um, a splinter-free guide and a splinter-free guide for anyone that's run any of the jig saws from Festool, no, actually any of the saws. To get splinter-free, you want to have a base underneath and also on top, and that allows for the zero chip out. So if you are cutting with the grain instead of cross grain, um, and you could normally get tear out there, particularly on plywood, but even on wood such as oak, to stop that, we can put in a, a splinter guard that's supplied with the saw, and you would cut into it to create a zero clearance. And now with your track and your cutting edge here, you get absolutely zero splintering, and I'll just show you that now. As you set the depth for your blade and your material, uh, once you have that set, you can cut through this, and once you cut through that, you'll now have zero clearance on the surface, the top surface of the wood. So again, green is a key feature, and we have a superior cut with the TS55 REQ. Like all of Festool's tools, the TS55 is part of a system, not only with dust pickup and the vacuums, but also with the tables. Um, you have tracks, you have track on the table, uh, the miter gauge on the MFT3 table. The TS55 is set up to run with all of that. <laughs>